I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are staying safe with all the craziness that's going on out there. Um, and I'm actually here at 7438 Wooden Nickel, or as we like to call her, the Duchess. This is the newest Crown Heritage Spec home on the market, and um, we actually are gonna close on her in a couple of days. So before we're out of here, I wanted to give you guys a quick house tour, kind of show you around the home, a um, little behind the scenes, and um, give you a good idea about what a Crown Heritage product is and the finishes that we're known for. So without further ado, let's head outside and start the tour. So here we are at the beautiful exterior elevation of the Duchess. And what you're going to see with most Crown Heritage model homes is we like to make a timeless look. So for this girl, we have a lot of crisp, clean lines. And as you'll see with every Crown Heritage model home is we build it with an intention. We actually con started construction on this home in the beginning of 2020 when COVID was actually um, just hitting. So the builders knew that the intention behind this home is they wanted to make this home a serene escape from reality, a serene escape from work and all the problems that the buyer has um, outside of their home so that when they come home, they're overwhelmed by not just a ton of natural light, but also calming blues, calming grays and organic elements um, that are actually a nod back to nature. So here, as we continue up this painted driveway, we actually incorporated, um, this is actually the most popular garage door with our buyers. It's this garage door with glass panels right here to let in natural light and to give the home a nice modern look. And although we wanted this home to be timeless and elegant for many years down the line, we also wanted it to have its own unique personality. So right here, bam, in the front, you have this tall, dramatic blue structure right here, almost touching the sky. And why we went with this deep blue is not just because this blue is currently very trendy, it's also because it's a nice nod to nature. The deep blues of the seas, the deep blues of the night sky. We wanted to add an organic touch to the home and a natural element right when you walk in so you immediately have a serene feel. And then here, we have a nice look at those wood-like planks right there. And to add another designer look to the home, the builders incorporated these beautiful floating steps that gently lead into the courtyard entrance of the home. So right here as you walk in, you have these two tall structures that gently welcome you into the courtyard of the home. And here we incorporated this nice, tall, beautiful gray iron courtyard gate door just to maximize privacy and to create a beautiful transition from the outside of the home into the interior living space. This nice handle and this beautiful, clean lockbox right here. And here, the floating steps gently lead into the entrance of the home. And immediately you're inside this beautiful, private, quiet courtyard. As you can see, it's kind of like your serene little quiet place and it's a beautiful transition from the outside of your home to your interior. Some landscaping there. And we snuck in a little window here, which is actually a window to the three car tandem garage um, that I'll show you guys a little later. So here, we did this finish where it kind of makes it wood-like this modern contemporary door, and let's walk inside. All right, and this is the Duchess. So right here, we're big on natural light. So we incorporated this oversized skylight, so right when your guests walk in, they have this nice bright beam of light right here, um, given by Mother Nature herself with the, sun, with the sunlight. And then of course, to make a dramatic statement, we incorporated artwork here, just kind of giving an artsy and elegant feel to the home. And then bam, right here when your guests walk in, they're going to see um, actually a built-in wine closet. These are actually glass shower doors with a nickel finished elongated handle. People love the concept of having a wine closet, something different, something memorable. And hey, when your guests walk in, they could put their coat right here 
in this coat closet right by the entrance and grab a glass of wine and then head to the heart of the home. So right here is the great room. I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys take it in. All right, so the concept with this, we wanted to make it feel that when your guests walk in, they're overwhelmed by the openness of this home, not just from the natural light and the window placements, but also just the height of the ceiling and just the overall lack of interior partitions, to be honest with you. So here, we did this huge opening. You could literally fit a car through here. We wanted to make it that dramatic. And as we go in, here is the kitchen. And what we actually did with this guy is we wanted it to be entertainment friendly. This is gonna be a really nice spot for Christmas parties, Thanksgiving, because it doesn't have any interior partitions from the kitchen space to the living space. So right here, we have these elegant, modern, sleek light fixtures. This is actually the first time we use these guys and these were very popular. We're actually gonna be using another spec home up the street. And here, as you can see, we use this blue color underneath the cabinets as a nod to the blue color outside in that nice column that we saw as another um, kind of subliminal serene feel. This is an oversized island, so plenty of room for your dishes, your casseroles, anything, you're, any dish you're gonna be using to entertain your guests. We did quartz countertops and these cabinets are all soft clothes. We did black fixtures, because we actually did a poll on our Instagram and people love, love black fixtures. So we incorporate it into that, into the spec home. This is our standard um, hood, standard cooktop. This guy's awesome. And what we did here, which was starting to find it really popular with our buyers, is we actually have a little wine rack here. So one of the buyers who was interested in this home, he was actually a chef. And I told him the good thing about this guy is right here when you're making your pastas or whatever, <laughs> whatever you cook, you have your spices right here in two sections and they actually have two shelves each. You can easily grab them, pour your spices in your pasta and gently close them. We have these quartz countertops, nice sleek backsplash with subtle hints of blue as a nod to the blue outside. Standard microwave, standard oven. And here, you have this nice little bar area. You can make your wine here, your cocktails, your smoothies, your coffee, all that jazz. So for this home, because it is in Cimarron Canyons, we were very pragmatic about the window placement because there's some awesome views in the subdivision. So as you can see, you can actually peek at the horizon right here through these windows. We want, we're big on window placement, so we want to make sure that every window was very thought out. This is the dining room, and this is the living space. And here we have this huge wall right here where you have a ton of possibilities to do for decoration. We decided to stage it with these unique pieces of artwork right here, but you could do whatever you want with it. The possibilities are endless. So. Here in the living space, something you'll notice with most of our homes, we shoot to have our light fixtures be very elegant, very simple, and very timeless, but still make a statement. We have this guy right here, kind of has like a twig-like feel to it, to blend in with the wood-like um, tile right here on the fireplace. But this is something you're not gonna grow tired in five, 10 years, or when you, later down the line, if you do choose to sell your home, you're not gonna want something that's very gaudy, something that's very trending currently. You're gonna want something that has a timeless feel. So that's what you'll notice with not just this home, but most Crown Heritage spec homes. And this is a pretty nice view here. This is a view of the great room from this space. And here, we're gonna transition actually to the backyard. I just want you guys to see the awesome views here in Simran. And this buyer actually got really lucky because he's getting some awesome views right here from his backyard, not just of this beautiful horizon, but as we paint here, has nice arroyo and the gorgeous mountain views here, the Franklin Mountains, especially as I'm sure you guys know during sunset when they turn purple, absolutely breathtaking here. 
and you have this beautiful desert floor right here in the backyard space as well. So, covered patio. Our homes are pre-wired for security systems. We have a little pull out for the gas and back inside the home. So also you'll notice with most of our homes is not just the light fixtures, but the colors. We try to keep them as neutral, but as clean and crisp as possible, such as this nice crisp white that helps open up the space along with the natural light in the home, the tall um, ceiling heights, the tall door heights, and that nice crisp white color. So here you can grab your bottle of wine and actually make your way to the master bedroom. So here we have these nice little built-in floating shelves. This home does have two units. We do not cut corners. This home's 2,600, 2,610 square feet and has two combo units. And here is the master bedroom. What the builder decided to do was put this, in. this is actually a last minute decision to be honest with you, but we'll got a lot of positive feedback on how it ended up looking. So here she incorporated this wood-like wallpaper back here to kind of soften up and warm up the room. And here, this is the ceiling design, of course, with that awesome accent color. And this oversized ceiling fan, which has actually been pretty popular. It looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like an airplane turbine. <laughs> so yeah, that guy's pretty cool. And here, what you'll notice also with most of our spec homes is we actually like to incorporate windows back here, not just to let in natural light, but in our experience in 20 years, we notice it's actually more of a practical design as well because you have views of your backyard landscaping, you make it really nice, you spend money on your backyard landscaping, and you're gonna wanna see it as often as possible. And of course, more private because it's towards the back of the home. And here, we go to the walk-in closet. And the builder's a bit of a fashionista herself, to be honest with you, don't tell her I told you that. And so we have these eight foot doors, of course, throughout the home. And she likes to make sure that her closets are always very spacious to ensure that the buyers have a lot of comfortable space um, for his and hers and to mitigate the fights, of course. So here, we're big on storage. You're gonna see a lot of these linen closets throughout the home. And if we open this barn door right here, we're gonna enter into the master bathroom. So here, again, serene, COVID, everything hectic that's going on right now, we want to make this kind of like a spa-like retreat. So here you have this nice, right when you walk in, your eyes drawn to this light fixture that's very contemporary, very modern, but still very simple and timeless. And here we have the bathtub and shower. So here what we did is we actually did a level floor of course, it's sloped so that it's properly drained in the little drain right there. And here we actually have a freestanding soaking tub. So when you're stressed off from work and you kind of just wash away your worries from the day, you put it in here, grab a little bottle of wine, some bubble bath, and get your little lush, what are they called, bath bombs, and just have a good time, honestly. So we wanted to make that very spa-like, very serene. And what we did here is we did that floor to ceiling tile work with this beautiful, glossy, um, elegant luxury tile work. And right here, you have this shower. We want to make this feel open. Again, we don't want interior partitions. We don't want you to feel claustrophobic when you're taking a shower. So we actually upgraded the shower and we did two glass panels on this guy. So, of course, when you walk in, you have this oversized nook for all your face washes, face scrubs, or whatever you do in the shower. And have this nice, rainfall shower head so that the water gently falls on you as you wash away your worries from the day. So excuse all those little blue tapes on some paint touch-ups that we need to do. So here is a view of the bathroom from this angle. And as you can see, you have these huge floating mirrors that completely take up the entire wall here. 
which kind of just gives it more of an elegant and makes, and makes the space feel more open. And we peeked in these windows that are actually, um, they have a frosted glass finish on them for privacy. And of course, his and her sink properly separated as they should be to again, mitigate the fights. And of course, all of the cabinets are soft closed. They are melamine European cabinets. And this is a good example. These guys are actually standard with us. This is one of the many um, cabinet finish that's included with our standard um, price per square foot. And here, we actually included a nice long mirror for the buyer to again open up the space and just add more of a designer look. So we're actually gonna transition outside of the master bathroom onto the other wing of the home. So here, gently come out of the master bedroom. And what we did in this home and was actually another reason why this floor plan was so popular is because we actually zoned the other bedrooms in this home. As you can see, when you're entertaining, you have guests over, maybe you don't want to disturb the kids. Maybe you want them to get their sleep for um, school the next day. Their bedrooms are actually zoned away from the main living space of the home. And cool thing is they're act they actually gently wrap around this courtyard, this private serene courtyard. have this kind of like this hallway of windows, which is the look that we wanted to shoot for, for this floor plan. So here you have the first bedroom, or I guess the second bedroom outside of the master. And standard with us is we're not big fans of those sliding doors <laughs> that always fall off the tracks, to be honest with you. So standard with us are these double door um, concepts right here with the ball catch hook on the top. Standard ceiling fan. And here we come out of the bedroom. And we come into bedroom number three. And for most of our bedrooms, we do like to make them a very practical and spacious size. So most of our bedrooms you will find are around 11 by 12, sometimes even 11 to by 13. And here we actually have the second bathroom of the home. This is the hall bath shared by these bedrooms. Here we have the same melamine cabinets, European style with the quartz countertops and this nice, huge, floating mirror that completely takes up this wall right here to really open up the space and this nice elegant light fixture up there and here we have this beautiful toilet right we have this elongated American standard toilet that's standard with our price per square foot and this shower with this nice tile work so here we come out of the bathroom, peek at the courtyard again, and then here we come into the final bedroom of the home. So here we have these nice windows, two of the front to let in natural light and to see, <laughs> to see the cars driving by, you know, you don't want to be staring at a wall when you're doing your work. So here we put this piece of artwork there and this nice little sofa. And of course, this is actually um, a fourth bedroom. It can be very easily repurposed as a bedroom or an office space. We wanted to give that flexibility to the buyer. And we also incorporated a window right here. And so I'm gonna do one quick pane of this bedroom. And let's go on to the final part of the home. So right here, let's say you finish your office work, you're super stressed, you come out of your room and you have this, you're welcomed by this nice long hallway of glass and windows and natural light. You're just completely overwhelmed by this natural light, but you're still private. You still have the privacy of your courtyard because it's um, enveloped and you have that gate and you can see the beautiful landscaping right here. This home was a huge hit. So. We're actually pretty excited because to be honest with you, this is the first time we do it. And every time you do a floor plan, you're a little nervous. That's so gonna turn out a little funky, but um, thankfully this one got a lot of positive feedback. So here we go into the other wing of the home.
And here is actually the final part of the home. Here you have the guest bathroom. This is in very close proximity to your living space, so your guests don't have to bother maybe your kids if they're sleeping just to use the restroom. So right here we put the powder room guest bathroom and have this nice floating mirror concept, these nice um, timeless wall sconces. And this is actually all standard. So this is standard cabinetry for us, standard hardware, standard sink, and standard um, plumbing fixture. This is actually Delta Trinsic. Um, it's like diamond seal technology, so it's pretty cool stuff. And here you have that same standard toilet. And for this guy, this is actually pretty, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool because we wanted to um, kind of make a statement in this bathroom for your guests. So we did the floor to ceiling tile work right here, kind of that wood-like finish to soften up the space. And as you can see, it's completely up to the ceiling just to make a really dramatic um, effect. And as you go in, you have this nice, cool um, tile, kind of different geometric, but not too, nothing too crazy. And what we did here <laughs> is um, we actually, we try to do this as much as possible because it's um, pretty practical, even though it's something small, but we, we care about this stuff. So here you have the um, shower head, and we actually ran a second plumbing line right here to the sky where the handle is. So when you're getting ready to shower, and it's winter, and it's super cold outside, and you don't wanna have to reach underneath the shower head to turn on the, the what is this, the lever? The lever um, and get splashed and get really cold you have the lever right here so you can gently turn it on and um, not have to get wet so <laughs> probably not a big deal but for us you know we try to do that as much as we can and here we have this nice elongated niche for all your products and of course we snuck in a little skylight right here ah, right here um, just to let a natural light and as you can see with this home, um, I did turn the lights on, but to be honest, you don't really need them. And that's the concept we always want to do. We want it to be so open. We want it to feel so serene, have so many windows where you're actually not even going to need to use your um, recess lights, which also helps with that electricity built to El Paso Electric, right? And here we actually have the laundry room. So standard with every single Crown Heritage home, of course, is a sink in the laundry room so that when you put your Tide Pods in there and your hands are all foamy and full of soap, you can easily wash them off. Quartz countertop standard, and we actually do include also um, built-in cabinetry, as you can see with these guys, and upper cabinetry right here. And the final last part of the home is actually the garage space. So here, got to step into the garage. And this is actually a three car tandem garage. So this is another asset of the home. Standard with all of our homes is we do include upper shelving for your Christmas trees, your Halloween decorations, all that good stuff that you don't want to leave on the floor. Um, we include built in shelving, um, upper shelving with all of our homes. And especially this guy has some nice um, linear footage up there. Here, tankless water heater, of course standard. And this three car tandem garage, basically a car could fit in this space. And I should have cleaned up a little bit here. And we have this window right there. So this does fit three cars. And of course, to let in as much off the ladder as possible. As I said, we snuck in that window here. And this is um, actually our most popular garage door for our custom home buyers. You could frost these glass um, for more privacy, or you could leave them just like this, and it lets in a lot of natural light. So, this is the three car tandem garage. All right. And that completes the home tour, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the tour of the Duchess. If you liked this home, make sure to like this video. It lets us know the type of homes that are popular with our buyers and the type of stuff that we should incorporate in our next model home. I hope you all continue to stay safe. I hope you all have a great holiday season and sending lots of love to you and your families um, from the Crown Heritage family. So we'll see you guys next time. Black.